Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of the RSA video series. In this, we'll look at the native capabilities of RSA to quickly model structures. We'll start off by specifying the type of structure that we intend to design. Once within the RSA environment, we can then ensure that we are, have the right regional settings configured as well as the databases and the loads that we intend to use later on during the course of the project have been set correctly. We can develop the model using the 2D as well as 3D view capabilities. We can start off by either defining our grids. So we can specify the number of grid lines and the spacing. Again, along the lateral direction and even the vertical grids. So for now, we'll just create the horizontal grids and make use of the default vertical grids. Now, defining structural elements, there are different, for defining structural elements, there are different options. We can define the elements through the geometry menu by specifying the type of element, whether you want to create columns, beams, walls, floors, uh, claddings, and all different types of elements. Uh, we also have a more intelligent way that we will look at a bit later in the video where we can make use of macros to create structures. So you have some default library of different types of structures that could be generated by just defining the properties of the overall structure. But just to quickly specify how we can make use of the default functionality. So when I want to create a column, I can specify the type of column I want to create and we can just specify the points to quickly place our columns at the requisite location. Once defined, what you'll also notice is because it's being read as the base column, it automatically inserts the support condition for the column. We can then make use of quick copy and paste tools to quickly generate the number of copies for this column that we want to create. So let's say in this particular case, we want to create five copies along the X direction, and then we can just specify the distance and you can see how it quickly generates the requisite number of copies. We can then create our beams. So again, we can specify the cross-section of the beam wheel during a later video in the series. We'll look at how we can create these section properties, how we can define these section properties. So we can just quickly turn on our track command to quickly create all the linear elements in one go. And Likewise for the other direction and once we've created the beams in the two directions, we can again quickly use the copy tool to develop the overall geometry. So again, we can specify the number of copies that we want to create and then we can specify the distance at which we want to create the copies and we'll quickly repeat the same process for creating copies along the X direction. And again, this time we specify the number of copies and specify the distance. Once created, uh, what we can do is we can quickly create the number of stories that we want. So currently you see we only have a single story model. Let's say we want to create a four story building uh, which has a similar footprint, we can go to our geometry menu, go to the stories tool and specify how many stories we want. So currently we see only one story. Uh, let's say we want to create multiple stories. So we want to add two more stories at the same elevation and we can apply. Now in case I want to just quickly copy these elements to the new stories, I have a quick tool which allows me to copy the contents of the story into the above stories helps me generate or develop the model in the shortest of the time span 
and as you can see a quick frame model is available within a couple of minutes the next option that we can look up is and we'll just quickly open up a new project for that is in case I want to model a quick steel frame building in that case what we can do is we can make use of the default macros which are available for developing portal frames so let's say I want to create a quick portal frame building I can specify the macro that I want to choose and here if at the back end you can see how it's creating the frame then we can defend, define the number of frames we want a number of spans that we want so let's say I would just want a single span specify the length I'll say it's, let's say 15 meters the height 5 meters and then the pitch angles we can also specify the sections so that section we can directly pull from the database that we want to use so let's say for us uh, I want to use my universal columns and then we can pick the requisite weight and here you can see how quickly it's created that portal frame now again quickly using a copy paste tool we can create multiple spans or multiple copies of the same column so here we can say I want to create three more copies and then I can specify the distance let's say we wanted to add 10 meters and once you click on execute you will see it automatically create the number of columns and then again we can specify the rafters and the purlins in the shortest of the time span so I want to create beams and I can just specify what size of the beam I want and then we can pick the start and the end points to define our rafters and likewise we can do it on the other edge and so on and so forth we can create uh, the portal frame in the shortest of the time span now next let's say I want to add certain claddings onto this particular frame so I want to add some cladding sheet so again I have the options to define my contours for the cladding sheet and then even I can define the distribution for the cladding so again we can pick the points and see it automatically start adding okay just close that quickly go to my cladding sheet once again and then we can just quickly copy these cladings create two more copies and specify the distance now there is one another interesting method uh, for creating elements let's say I want to create a brace a cross brace at this frame what I can do is I can make use of the tables that are available so what I simply have to do is create a beam connecting node 5, node 9, node 4 and node 10 so what I can do is open up my tables for the members and I can create another one with joints 4 with 9 and again we can specify an angle for it specify the material and then another one which connects 5 with 10 and again specify it as an angle if I come back to the main model, you'll see it has. Okay, maybe I inserted the plates at the wrong. So it's four and ten, five and nine. So we can just quickly go back to the table. Four and ten, and five and nine. So again, we can quickly make edits, make the changes, create copies, and do all the requisite works that we want using the native capabilities of robot structural analysis so again these are some of the basic tools and functionalities you can use in robot to quickly model different types of structures 
In the next video, we will look at a more automated way of modeling structures by making use of Dynamo. Thank you.